and she was a lot thinner than you. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I didn't say anything. Yeah. Nice cocktail. Ooh, cute yellow dress. It's a two piece set. That's really cute. And, ooh, 50s crinoline. That's really nice. Let's see. Good prices. Troll doll. Elephant. That should be good. That should be good. Mm -hmm. I'll look that up. That, these facial exercise things usually do pretty well. That's my time. I'm back from my sale and I am going to show you what I picked up because it's some really, really good stuff. And a lot of stuff is things you should learn about if you're going to be planning on selling on eBay. So I'm going to tell you first about the ad because it wasn't a very good ad. It was on Craigslist and it looked like, I think it said uh, moving estate sale or something, just a few pictures and showed a piece, sh uh, showed like some old upholstered furniture, recliners and um, I ran into a dealer later in the day and I said, why weren't you at that sale? And she said, because it didn't look very good. It didn't look like they had any old stuff. And that made me think today, and I want to talk to you about this, is that 
sometimes the worst ads, the worst sounding ads are the best for me. So the ones that make it sound like amazing also means they're going to be priced high most of the time. Most of the dealers that have really good sales will uh, talk up how great everything is. And then I'll go in and maybe find one or two things because the prices are high. That's not always the case. But in the last few weeks, the two sales I went to that were best were just family run, low prices. Uh, the ads didn't sound great. So there was not a lot of people shopping for stuff. I was one of the only people there and you can take your time, look everything up. And so I'm gonna show you some of the great stuff I found at this one. The first thing is behind me is this sweater. Um, so I've been doing eBay for over, I mean, almost 20 years. So I've been to a lot of estate sales. I have never yet come across something like this sweater. And I'm gonna go through right now with my camera and I'll go through each item and tell you about, about each one. Okay, here we go. First thing, first up is this lovely Peninsula Motorcycle Club, American Motorcycle Association patch, probably from the 1950s, highly collected. Uh, and there was a comp on eBay for just the patch for $250. And this it's on this nice uh, red wool sweater with good condition. It's got a little stain right there, but no holes, I don't see. No holes, great shape. Uh, I will probably start the bidding on that at $250. Um, by the way, I, I, I'm going to tell you how much I paid for this stuff. It's kind of ridiculously low. Everything I got at the one sale, this is actually has a couple different, um, sales. It was from the rest of the day as well, but I got the sweater, the jeans, this dress I'm going to show you, this crinoline and a couple other things. And I paid a total of $10 at the sale for everything. So I'm just saying you can, you can find those things if you go to the right sales. Um, these are Big E Levi jeans. Learn about this if you don't know. Always check the tag, the red tag on the back. If it's a capital E, that was made, I'm not sure the exact cutoff date, but I think before the 1960s or 60s and earlier. Um, and then could go back really far to, I think the late 1800s. Uh, leather patch, these are style is 502. And they're in great shape, great shape. And I think you're supposed to look at, I'm, it's not my specialty, these jeans, but for somebody who it is, I'm trying to show the details. Um, the selvage down here, I guess that is what we're looking for on these old jeans. So estimated, oh shoot, estimated um, uh, price I'm going to get on these is, is two, 250 to 400 could be more. I'll do an update maybe later. I'm going to take this down. It's in my way. Okay. Uh, this beautiful fox fur thing. This is from a different sale from the same day. It's fox fur uh, cape with skirt. With a skirt. Um, circa 1960s. The brand is House of Nine, California. It's just a pretty set. Will probably be sold to someone on the East Coast because we don't wear too much fur here in California. Okay. Beautiful 1950s belted dress. Uh, Mari for I Magnin. Um, silk, it's silk and it's full skirt. I think it's got a little crinoline sewn in. Yeah, it's got a little crinoline sewn in, so it's already full. But I'll put another one under it to make it really full in the photos. It's gonna look beautiful. Maybe this one that I got. Always buy these. Sometimes they don't sell for very much, but I also use them in my photos. This one's really pretty because of the lace. It's, I think it's Chantilly lace. It's really pretty. Um, okay. Uh, mohair sweater, man's mohair sweater. Kurt Cobain wore one like this in, in a, his video he did for MTV, but it was green. But this fuzzy look is popular. It's kind of grungy looking. They always sell. This one's black, okay. This is from also from another sale that day. This is from Italy, Hannah in Italy, wool mohair sweater. It's just cute. Pink with little, are those cherries? I don't even know, little embroidery. And Etro, this is a good brand, made in Italy. Um, just a nice sequins. 
We have beaded, very festive little bolero silk. Now here's my Poochie set, isn't that cute? So it's got this toilet cover, or toilet seat cover thing, which I, I was looking at comps and I couldn't find any that had that, so that's interesting. Um, and it's got one towel, one hand towel and one bath towel. Good shape, no tags, but we know it's Poochie. Oh, actually, I do have a tag. It's um, Spring Mills is the company. So it was, this one doesn't say Emilio Pucci, but it is, it is. that's what it is. I've had these before. Okay, uh, let's go through these couple of these other things that I got. Pound, Pound Jungle, these are uh, made by Pound Puppies from the nine, these ones are 1990s. Uh, these will go for, I think $2 each. So $4, they'll probably sell for 40 to $50 for the set. Um, Reebok shoes. Um, new, new in the box um, from the 90s. And they're women's size six and a half. And the box says 1997 right there. So they're, um, they'll go for 30 to $40. Here's something I looked up when I was at a thrift shop the same day. It's it's called Hero Scape. It's a game made with Marvel superheroes. Um, I paid three dollars, and we'll get. I forget. I looked at the, up the comps. I think it's like. It was about thirty dollars. So okay, here's the other items I got. I'll show real quick. This is called Facial Flex. I've sold these before. Um, I guess you put that in your mouth, and it exercises your face. It's supposed to, I think it's supposed to make your face shape nice or exercised, I'm not really sure. Clinically proven, uh, but they sell for 30 to $40, I think. I have to look at the comps again, but I always buy them because people are looking for these. I guess, see the date was 1996, 97, so they might not make them anymore. Anyway, it's this thing. If you ever see these, pick it up for cheap. Uh, here you go, Mighty Men and Monster Maker. I've never seen this, but it looks, it's kind of like the dress that we used to have this, what were they called? Fashion plates in the eighties. It's kind of like that, but it makes monsters. I guess you put the little plates in there and um, you draw color monsters. 10 cents was a good deal, good bargain. And I think the comp showed for 20 to $30, but it'll be fun. Here's this book, always check inside books because sometimes, they're autographed. To Hub, best wishes, Billy Martin. Um, and it's first edition of this book. Billy Martin looks like he was a baseball player for the New York Yankees, I believe. Um, yeah, he helped lead the Yankees. Okay, sorry for my <laughs> lack of knowledge about baseball. But this should do well. I saw a comp on eBay for $100. So we'll aim for that. Uh, this is just a book I looked up while I, I always look everything up because what is this? Is it a yearbook? I'm not sure. It's called Sawadi. Turns out this family lived in Thailand and this is, uh, look at the pretty dress. This is a book about, or it's, it is a journal put together by, I think Americans living in Thailand in the seventies. And it's all about, um, the different crafts that the people of Thailand made. Um, let's see. Yeah, like just cool furniture. Um, but the, the, the one that sold on eBay from a different year, this is 1972. And the one that sold on eBay went for like a hundred dollars. That was from 1971. So we'll see with that one. Okay, next. This was in the free pile. Always check the free pile. Uh, it's a pro bridge. It's a game you play bridge on by yourself. I think comp showed 20 to $30. And that was free for me. Um, this, these are both from a rummage sale that same day. This is a pre-stenciled quilt top. Double stencil, pre-stenciled, pre whole, whole cloth quilt top by Spartex. 
Um, it is exactly what it says. It's a quilt top, um, unused, and the comp sell for I think $75 was what I was looking at. Uh, so, always buy those. And last but not least, what do I got here? Um, it's service manuals, car service manuals. People love these because it has lots of information. If you have a 2008 Accord, or you're restoring it, or just working on it, it's a set of shop manuals, official Honda shop manuals. Um, so these uh, should go for, I'm totally guessing because I don't really remember, but I think it was like $50, 50 to $100 for the set. I saw one set on there. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope I inspired some of you to do this for yourself. Go, you know, check Craigslist, go to your next estate sale or garage sale and look for stuff and take your phone with you, look things up and you'll be surprised at what you can resell for a profit on eBay. So click like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.